Come on, come on. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, Mr. Sutter. Mr. Marshall. So, how are you guys doing on this fine day? Working hard? We're working pretty good. It's Better really good. Working. So I need to talk to you in private about something. All right, Mr. Sutter. Here you go. You start working. Good. All right, I'll be working on here. So what I was thinking was, we should build a sawmill down in California. Uh, how much land do you have here? I got plenty of acres. Plenty high. So when do you think we should start going down there to build our sawmill? We should start soon, like about now. About That'd now? be perfectly All fine. All right, we're going to go get our stuff ready, Mr. Stutter. Sounds we got good. This good. All right, mister, we got to get our stuff going. We got to go build a sawmill. Yeah, flat one out before we can even start to build a, a sawmill. Yeah. Now we need to get a lot of dirt, too, before we can How's get the sawmill coming along. We're getting the face setting down, sir. All right. good. Looks like we're making an improvement. Yep. Yep. Just gotta get this land here all flattened out. Probably not a change. Need to talk to you for a second. All right. So when do you think this song will be done? It'll be done in a couple of months, my guess. So we'll just get some profit in here pretty soon. Yep. A couple of months. So, well, I need to take a to I need to take a break before I even get back to work. Okay. Yeah, we need to we get can make a good profit off We can this make too. more money off gold than the sawmill bars. That's true. We need to keep it secret. Got it? Yep. James, you know what? I'm tired of this crap. Yeah, I'm, yeah, man. I'm tired too. When are we going to get to this new sawmill? We're almost there. You better be sure because I need to get paid. And I ain't getting money walking down here. You'll get your money. Well worth it. All right, we better get our money's worth out of this. Stick our claim. Oh, right here looks pretty flat. Yeah, it looks like no one's here. Alright, let's just put our stakes here. So what supplies do you think we'll need? Well after well, we'll need a shovel, pan, and a pickaxe. Sounds good, let's go get it. Alright, let's do it. I'm Gavin Fries, interviewing Mao Lang about the history of his ancestors, the Chinese, in the period of 1849. First question, Mao Lang. When was the population boom? Oh, see, California had just recently become a state before the gold rush. So it was just growing just because it had recently come. The Americans moving there for land. But uh, dealing in the gold rush, the big population boom was in 1849, and uh, they say the pop 
population grew from about 15,000 all the way to 100,000. So that is a um, that's a, about 85,000 people. So that's a big population boom. Second question. What was the gender mostly like of the Chinese or the immigrants that came to the United States? Um, well, my great great grandfather, he was he went over to China in search of gold, and he took his family because they did not like their life in China. This, they just wanted a fresh clean start. But very few other immigrants took their whole family over. Um, they, about five percent of the immigrants were women and children, so that tells you just how few men brought uh, their family family from their foreign country. Where was the location that most of the immigrants came from? Um, mainly the majority of immigrants came from um, China, but they came from Asia. They would have, Asia and Europe would have had the hardship of coming from overseas on ships, so that would definitely be a hard journey. Also, from Mexico and South America, so people might say, you know, they've got it the easiest, but you still have to realize, I mean, there was no easy way. I mean, it was all on land and it was such a long journey. Alright, third question. Who were the first immigrants that came? The majority of immigrants were from China, but the very first ones came from Asia and South America. But after that, few, after that, few came from Asia and South America and Europe, and the majority came from China. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about your ancestors on their opinion of the gold rush or the United States? Um, well, they were all right with them, you know, they were welcoming them into their country to search for gold. But then once immigrants started taking gold and finding it, the Americans got mad and they did not like that the Chinese were taking their gold. So, they got mad and put what was called the foreign minor tax and that um, really made the immigrants mad because it cost them twenty dollars just to mine for gold so obviously my family and my ancestors are not happy about that and honestly I think uh, W. Kelly puts it best as the Yankee regarded every man but his own kind as a trespasser to come to California and pick up gold of free and enlightened citizens. Mao Lang, tell me a little bit about your ancestors. Uh, my ancestors, mostly my great grandfather, because he was the one that was searching for gold. He was a uh, he was a hard worker. His whole family was, but especially my great great grandfather. He's brought his family over there and. His kids and his wife had to work too, and they I mean they started their new life. And even though the Americans wanted the Chinese out, and um, they just kept going. How much of California was Chinese in 1840s? Well, when they found the gold, that's when the immigrants really started to come. So. Well, they say there was about 25% immigrants, which doesn't necessarily mean all Chinese, but a great deal. I'd say about 20% of that 25% were Chinese. There was a lot of Chinese. And that's, if you think about it, it's a lot. It's one in four people. So that's a lot of immigrants, especially in a bigger, one of the bigger states then. Thank you, Madeline. looking for gold. I think we should just go to town. But if we get lucky, we can get money. A lot yeah, of money. If we get lucky. If we make a town, maybe people will stop by and we can just make money off of that. That's true, but, you know, 
let's just go to town and then maybe we can find gold if we really don't like it. I guess we would make more money that way. We would. Okay. Go to town. a pretty good start, doesn't it? Yeah, we just need to go get a couple supplies and then maybe we can start building our town. I wonder if anyone will stay here. I think people will. As long as we start getting some tents and food ready and then we can start cooking it, I think people should stop it here. Where do you think we'll get the cloth to cover? We should run into a merchant this way. Would you like some help, sir? Uh, yes. All right. I'll start helping. Yeah, put some bricks around the perimeter. Could you maybe just go get some park going on? Sure, after we get done putting these putting little base around there. All right, cool. All right, I'll get, I'll get going on that. All right. See you in a little bit. See ya. I need this guy's stuff. What are you doing? Hey! Get out! Go! Some sticks? Yeah. All right, bring them over here. We got them all. The stew's looking pretty good. All right. We have about five more minutes, and it should be done. It's good. By Nick Schwartz, Sam Nuno, Hunter Kirk, Gavin Freeze, Vincent Bowen.